I am going to talk about the bees. And Dave had a chance to see down below over there. I um, let a local neighbor uh, put his bees on my property. I flatten out an area down there thinking, okay, I'm going to use it for something, camping, I don't know. And then we get this uh, in the neighborhood. Um, Somebody was looking for it. Yeah, remember, yeah. did you ever see that? Um, yeah. I saw Bill the I saw bee the guy, guy, and he never got a hold of me. I thought, oh, everybody's like me. They're crazy about bees, and he's probably <laughs> fine. And then one day he calls me and says, did I call you yet? And I've got bees down there, hence I've got a lot of bloom on the moringa, and I think that's part of it. Yeah. I, I got, I, I have bees too. Do you? And I, have, I, I actually have a beehive bees. behind my garage over there, so I can have to, I guess, not walk around. It just, it just, uh, they populated some uh, bee boxes I have cool. up there. Good. So I have my bee suit and everything, you're going to see it. <laughs> so just some fun facts start here there are over 20,000 species of bees <coughs> about 400 in California and about 25 percent of these are, are native uh, in California it's 16 about 16,000 species uh, 30 percent of the food crop that we eat whether directly or indirectly for instance the alfalfa for the animals you know that requires pollination so 30 percent of our food so when we started losing the bees because of the ccds that's that's mm -hmm. big mm -hmm. there are a lot of plants that don't need pollination you know sit you know a lot of them mm -hmm. but 30 percent um 10 percent of the bees are social and 75 percent are solitary so mm -hmm. bees most of them aren't mm -hmm. you know in these beehives there are these solitary bees that maybe they uh, are in a little hole in a tree and they're just by themselves or in the ground. And another thing, wasps are not bees. Now honey is regurgitated nectar. Only honeybees die after sting. So anything else that bites you is going to keep biting you. I found that out one day. I had one of these big hats and it must have been like, I, I, maybe it was a wasp or something else, but it got caught. And it started panicking. It started bouncing back and forth between my big hat when I was out gardening and just bit me repeatedly. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a learning experience. Uh, CCDs, colony collapse disorder, is only affecting the managed hives. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Hmm. So, uh, and only honeybees make enough honey to harvest. Most native bees make no honey at all or just enough for their, their little lifespan because they're solitary. Okay, 16,000 species in California. And then they do do this waggle dance to talk to each other. It's a figure eight. And in fact, I've gone out and um, moved hives. That One in particular was in a cone, like a construction orange cone, <laughs> on one of the sites that awesome. I had, you know, as a, as a city, uh, the city uh, landscape architect consultant. Um, I was telling him about, yeah, I'm into beekeeping, I'm learning about it. He goes, oh, you know, we got a hive down here off the slope of this new community. And I go, well, okay, let me take a look at it, right? And so I go down there, it's in a cone, in this back, you know, a lot of these communities now, they're outlaying areas, they landscape them, the slopes, they create, create these trails. And there was this old cone there, and it, there was a beehive. So I went down there with my husband, and we figured out a way to put a uh, grill underneath it, and then put window screening <laughs> and tape it really quickly and then and then and then that way I could lift the whole thing and walk and I said honey you just walk ahead of me because I, any kids coming down there with their bikes people were jogging you tell them turn around now and we got to the street and there was even a little girl looking out her window and we looked like these you know two people in moon suits <laughs> and I said it she's like what are you doing you know, it was it was pretty cool and that's one of the highs I have right now to this day and they do, they will travel within a couple miles or more. Preferably, you know, they want to stay really close. They want to stay really close, but they will travel if they have to. I actually keep a half of a, uh, a cutoff um, barrel uh, full of water right mm. behind here, right behind these planters for the bees. And just real quick, the drones, the, the males die at mating. Oh, I happen to be out here filling these, um, the soil here. I have a hive in this oak tree over here. And all of a sudden there was this huge swarm. This huge swarm, they were just going in circles around. I'm like, oh my God, that's a new queen. 
the queens live about a year. Mm. So they had um, a new queen had been born, and she has to go come out, fly into the air, and then the drones have to fly around and mate with her, and that's it. That's she's going to have thousands and thousands of eggs. She's going to lay. And, and it's from that mating. And they just all swarmed around that tree. And I, it was from that hive. Uh -huh. And I was standing right next to it. I just sat there. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> this is actually a, a picture I took of a bee. If you can imagine all the different species. And you see he's very different. He has a just shiny body, shiny black head, and very distinct stripes. I haven't ID'd him yet. But I took this picture myself with my, my phone. And one day I just sat there. If you can just sit there and observe all the different insects, um, there's going to be maybe nine different bees that you aren't even aware of flying around on your property. Some of the strangest bees. Yeah. There's that big, huge Total black, black one too. The yeah. the big, big one. Oh, Again, yeah. solitary. Yeah. It's all I got a lot of these black. guys. Yeah. No, Mason bees. Your, yeah. These are really teeny. Yeah. This is just. And some of the big ones love the moringa flowers right now at I my house. This is it. And this is proportional to this. So this guy's actually really, really teeny. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of proportional. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to head up. Okay. So, and then I'll signal to my hub to start some lunch. You guys need walkie talkies. I do. I have you a don't. couple walkie talkies. <laughs> They're plugged in, but I was going to give you one.